some time ago I bought and struggled with the works of the Marquis de Sade. Some time ago I also bought this book. The book is Sexual Personae, Art and Decadence from Nefertiti to Emily Dickinson, which is written by Camille Peglia. And um, one of the chapters in this book, chapter 8, is The Return of the Great Mother, Rousseau versus Sard. I don't claim to know anything about Rousseau, but according to Miss Peglia, Rousseau uh, believed in a return to nature and she said that Wordsworth also believed in a return to nature and that he saw nature Rousseau saw nature as the great mother she also says that Saint Augustine hated the great mother or, or at least thought the great mother was a dreadful rival to Christianity I'd agree with him there but then again I'm with the great mother and I hate Christianity but um, I want to read a little bit of this book. As I said, I don't really understand Rousseau. And I've never really liked Wordsworth. But this passage, I think, is interesting. Rousseau and Wordsworth, loving female nature, open the door of a closet St. Augustine locked. Out pop vampires and spirits of the night who still walk our time. We remain in the romantic cycle initiated by Rousseau. Liberal idealism cancelled by violence, barbarism, dissolution, cynicism. The French Revolution degenerating into the bloody reign of terror and ending in the restoration of monarchy and imperial Napoleon was the first failed Rousseauist experiment. Rousseau believes man naturally good. Evil springs from negative environmental conditioning. Rousseau's saintly child, my but marred by society, is opposed by Freud's aggressive, egomaniacal infant, whom I hear and see everywhere. But Rousseauism flourishes among today's social workers and childcare experts whose smooth, sunny voices too often exude party and paternalism. Bedford's Quakers are a bit like that as well. <laughs> bunch of passive-aggressive non-entities, but anyway, there we go.